Recording. Welcome, 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 beautiful FGLs and leadership team people. And um, we are so, so excited to be um, officially launching book one of uh, an anthology that will definitely be having many, many, many books to follow um, as this community grows and um, we just continue to tap into everybody's amazing creative talents and skills. And so um, I, you know, before I start sharing the deck, I just, I wanted to give a couple of, of shout outs just to, um, to Michelle and also to Brian um, for just kind of, you know, helping to bring this, this project to, to fruition. It's been at least, well, four to five months that we've been, you know, working on this in, in the background and putting together um, a, what we think is going to be a really helpful process to kind of keep everything moving. And um, so just kind of, you know, knowing that this is our first go round, um, if anything, you know, does occur throughout the process that isn't um, as seamless as we want it to be, we just ask that you show us a little bit of grace, but we think it's going to be amazing. Um, and so without further ado, um, Michelle, I'm, I'm going to, okay, hold on. I'm going to share my screen and then I'm going to turn it over um, to Michelle and um, talk a little bit about just kind of the background, how this whole project got started in, in the first place. Um, and then we'll go into kind of who we are and um, our mission. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, this uh, was birthed after we did uh, growth, our growth mastery retreat in March. And uh, as I really uh, stepped into the space of wanting to be of value, um, wanting to be valuable, not just uh, to myself, but to others. Like, what, is that, what does that actually mean? Right, and going back and meeting uh, Grizz at the retreat and us having almost literally the same vision of wanting to be surrounded by people who led with love and value and created massive wealth at the same time. So there was a win, win, win. They won, um, the people they worked with and did life with were winning and uh, society as a whole, the communities we serve were winning. And um, so later, as I was on a call, I was on a train headed from Austin to Dallas, and I had reached out to Lonnie. And this is one of the things that I do when I'm prompted by a call, if I'm on an advisory call or on a Rod's call, and one of you all says something that gives a prompting, I just reach out and just chat. Sometimes I don't even know why, I just know I'm called. And I was talking to Lonnie, and I have written a book, and I'm not proud of it. I did it under duress. Someone had me write a check and said if I didn't write a book, uh, they would cash the check or give a check to donate to charity. So this was that ability to do something in a space of love, of absolute love of who I get to do it with and how it gets to serve and how I get to stand on a stage. And if someone sees me and they don't calibrate with me, well, there's a book full of people who there's going to be someone in that book that looks like you or sounds like you or has a similar experience. And it'll offer that person the opportunity to step into their growth to say yes to them. I get to do this with you. Um, I called Grizz not long after and we had our first of many long conversations. Like it was supposed to be 15 or 20 minutes and we ended up talking for almost three hours. And, um, but I said it out loud because I didn't realize how much shame I had over the fact that people kept asking me, where's your book? Um, you speak so well, you're so smart, where's your book? And giving and doing this with you breaks that, that that spirit that's, or whatever you want to call it, that's over me. And the fact that I get to do life with you guys, I'm starting to get a little cranky here because um, I went back and read the chapter that I wrote and just re read in the journal what I wrote. And this is the first of many things that I get to do with you all. That was an idea that I was able to say out loud because I was in this community. Had it not been for y'all, it would have probably been aborted on thought. But the strength of what we create here is what has kept me going in the midst of all the other things and still working on this and then blessed to be with 
all the leadership, you know, Rod and Tanya, um, having met Aga and Tanya at a retreat, and they called me in to this community, which I had already requested as part of my vision, and just the belief that continues to grow as I stay here with you all and wanting to give that to as many people as possible. So I just say thank you for everyone that's on this call and wherever you are right now, just know this is the first of many things that we're gonna to do together. If you have ideas, if you're listening to people and it's sparking, call them. Send them a, a text, send them a Facebook messenger and follow through on the promptings. This is the gift that we've been given is our mind is so incredible and I get to play with y'all and just allow my mind to do amazing things. And I'm just grateful to be here. Grateful for Chris. Grateful for Chris. That she's my book mom. Thank you, mommy. Because um, <laughs> she does this for a living. <laughs> I was, Grizz and I were like lost in here. She came and just <laughs> threw us a lifeline because this is her expertise. And that's the beauty of this community. You have an idea and there's someone here who knows. Someone here who can give you feedback and coaching and support and love and accountability and help that be birthed like we're doing right here today. So I'm going to stop talking because I just am so full of gratitude right now. I might literally split into two people today, right? So. Thank you, Grizz. Do you want to add anything before we get into the presentation? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the one thing that I just really wanted to highlight is that you know, for those that, that were at that mastery retreat, you know the sense of just incredible depth of emotion that we experienced in that together. And the thought that you can take something like an anthology and put it in people's hands and create that same depth of connection um, it's just that that's really what the driving force behind this has been um, on so many levels to to really bring uh, an awareness that, hey, whatever you're experiencing, there are other people like you out there that are doing this and have experienced it. And there's a community waiting for you to wrap their arms around you and support you. And this is a great way for us to put that in to people's you know book bags and their their briefcases and their bookshelves and and you know the the idea that you know, so often we have these books that you you pick up and you in order to really experience it you experience it from cover to cover and when you think of something like this like you pick this up and you read one chapter that resonates with you on such a high level and then you can put it down and then come back to it another time and, and pick it up and have it experienced at a different level. And um, it's just a, it, we're just so enthusiastic about what this really means for our community and for the impact that it, it's going to have on the world. Um, and, and it's just been a beautiful experience. So we're, it's great to be in this moment with you all. I was trying to figure out how um, when I was sharing it went to the screen and I wasn't able to see any any faces so that's why I stopped share but um, I tried again Did anyone else hear that other talking? I'm in a co-working space and it might be loud. Oh. I, I will mute. I was just wondering if it was something on my end. All right. Can everybody see this? Are we back? Yes. It says click. Yeah, I see a blank page. Do you, you don't see the presentation? Mm -mm. No. You have to click a different, you might be in a different tab. Sorry, guys. There we go. Got it? Yeah. Okay, Grizz, do you mind um, just kind of reading through the who we are and the mission? Sure. So who we are. Growth Writers is a creative, collaborative group of authors and editors associated with the Growth You community 
who strive to inspire and empower others through writing personal life stories of transformational growth and positive change. And then our mission statement, through the creative outlet of inspirational story writing, we seek to bring transformative awareness and growth to our readers in the areas of health, energy, relationships, mindset, influence, communication, financial wealth, career, and families. We share our personal life transformation stories as a means of attracting and connecting with others who desire to lead more meaningful, fulfilled, and purposeful lives. Boom. Boom. I love it. Um, so this slide, guys, um, your story matters like a lot. <laughs> and so um, really what, what we want to impress upon all of you, if you even have just, you know, the, the slightest degree of interest in, in becoming part of this project is what we, what we want to bring to the world is kind of where stories that show where you were before you got involved with Growth You, um, what transformations have happened because of your involvement with this community, with the programs, um, you know, with the events, uh, you know, the ISTCs, and then, and then beyond, you know, Growth You. And so we want to make sure that we're capturing um, in the chapters um, that you all will hopefully be writing and contributing um, is really, you know, what is your transformation story um, as a result of um, this community and, you know, the people and what you've learned? Because ultimately the goal is really to attract more people into the community, um, more people to take programs um, and be able to, to share their own stories. Um, just like, you know, you're, you're really going to be um, sharing out with the world. And so um, there are, we've got a lot of tools um, and things that are going to help you write. Um, we've got, you know, a chapter blueprint that's going to help you lay it out. Um, we've got writers and editors that are, are just going to be, you know, giving you suggestions and recommendations. And so the biggest idea here is to think about like, you know, what is your story? What would you want to share with the world? Um, and I wanted to, to go back and allow uh, Michelle and, um, and Grizz, and I know, you know, Lonnie also has, has um, written a chapter um, as part of this, and, you know, Marsha as well. And so I wanted to just kind of give you guys just a couple of minutes just to share what your experience was when you put pen to paper, you know, when you sat down to really think about like, what, what, what is it that I want to share with the world um, as far as my transformation and what growth you has, has meant to you? And what was part of your process? What did you learn? Uh, I will start. Uh, what I learned was that uh, I had so many stories, right? It was uh, a, actually a gift for me to start to look at, you know, which story do I want to utilize in a manner that I do the hero's journey. So if you've uh, listened to Rod talk or speak before and in, in, in some of our trainings, he's talked about the hero's journey. So how can I share this in a manner where I am you know, starting off, and I'm not telling it from a point of pain, but I'm starting so that someone can experience that pain of the journey, but then see how, you know, it's not an easy journey. This decision to become the best and highest version of myself has been the most difficult decision I made, but yet the most beautiful one at the same time, right? And that there is nothing that is wasted. Um, everything is happening for me. Everything has happened for me. And I get to use it in a manner where I celebrate it now and I share it with people to strengthen, encourage, and empower them. And that's really, it really started to harness my value um, to have me look at my worth in a whole different, through a whole different set of lenses. And uh, again, I'm just excited and honored to be here with you and doing this together, right? One of the many things that we get to do together. Yeah, I think the, the overwhelming um, 
the, the thing that impacted me the most was realizing, and I've kind of always known this on some level and not before finding this community, um, I didn't know what the outlet was, but I knew that my story was, was my story for a reason. And that if I'm holding on to it for my own purposes, then, then the value that it can bring to someone else's experience um, is lost. You know, I think about, um, you know, Jeff from the, the last event, you know, standing up in this moment of massive vulnerability and sharing his story and the impact that that had and the ripple effect that, that came from sharing his story. Um, and I think about if we have a, an anthology, you know, volume one is, is, you know, 12 to 13 stories like that and volume two and, you know, and, and volume 317, you know, like the ripple effect that happens as a result um, it is, is world changing, right? And, and we've, we've, we're all here with a story. We've all gone through our experiences to this point for a, for a reason. And, and that part of that reason is to share it with others. Um, and, and so the, the kind of almost a, a sense of obligation, right? To, to put this in a format um, to, to put it into the hands of others and, and allow people to understand that they're not alone, right? And that they're exper what they're experiencing is, um, is purposeful. It's not happening to them. It's happening for them and it's happening for others. Um, and that was really kind of the sense that I got as I um, sat down at my computer and, and wrote the, the first draft that I, we originally culled down to a certain length that now I'm back to writing and adding more to it. Um, to to satisfy some of the uh, word counts that we're looking for, uh, so it's just been and it's it's an experience in and of itself, right? To to go back and relive some of these things that maybe we've we've compartmentalized um, to to kind of get through, if you will, right? And now we know that um, part of our growth is to is to bring it to light and put put light on it and understand the the purpose that it really plays in the bigger picture. So. Um, it, it is an experience and it's an emotional one. Um, you know, even the, the timing of, of my growth story uh, circulating on, on Facebook right now, um, just sitting down and, and watching it the other day and kind of reliving the moments of just that piece of it um, really kind of strengthened that almost, again, obligation to share. So um, get ready for a beautiful experience um, as you go through this piece of your journey. I love it. I don't. I know that Marsha is not able to be on the call, but Lonnie, do you do you want to take a minute and just kind of share your experience as as you wrote? Hi. <laughs> Hello. I was um trying to get two or three uh, different things together at one time. Um, so for me, as I took part in this um, project, it helped me to come to a point where everything that I'd experienced in my life as a young man, uh, as what a person would call growing up underprivileged and um, not having the support of good parents. I had, my parents are good people, but I mean, they didn't get the memo. And so... Uh, myself and my eight siblings, we suffered um, a great deal at that part in my life. And, and what people don't understand is um, it, it was a form of child abuse, but worse than that, it was a form of child neglect. And I think the next level for us would have been to go feral um, because we, it, was, it was just a tragic situation. And so looking back, over that after years trying to find the goodie um, and just a bad plot of dirt, it's, it's, it was just difficult. Being a part of this community helped me frame that up. It helped me shift my whole thinking to realize that that was an, an incarnation of me, but all of the superpowers that I've gained from everything that I've been through, from hopping around from school to school to school to school, 
it made it easy to go in the military and I can hop around from post to post to post to post. Then I became a nurse and I can hop around from assignment to assignment to assignment, right? And now look at my life. I'm in Bethel, Alaska today, um, remodeling parts of the house that I don't know what I'm doing and still doing it. I live in Lakewood, Washington. Another third of the time I'm traveling anywhere else I wanna go. So I, I, how can I complain? It just created a skill set that now I get to share with other people. So my story uh, helps, I mean, even young people who they talk about the school to prison pipeline, you know, can anybody overcome that? <laughs> so sharing that story hopefully is inspiration to somebody who could find themselves in a dark place um, and read the book and and say, hey, you know, let me get back in the fight. Let me throw one more punch. So I appreciate you guys for allowing me to be a part of this community, to be a part of this project. And um, yeah, Grizz, I see, I see volume number 13 coming off the shelf, baby. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and you guys, we, you know, at the, not this past ISTC, but the one before we sat down and, you know, kind of just started talking about this idea. And I, it's just like, I, I see you guys share your stories amongst, you know, each other on these calls that you're joining every week. And just imagine these, your stories, um, how, I mean, are going to touch hundreds and thousands and hundreds of thousands and translations into different languages as we expand into different countries. And I mean, it's just such a massive opportunity for your real life stories to be to be put out there and to affect other people. So um, I want to go back and we'll get through a couple more slides and then open it up um, for some from questions and comments. Um, get back to this. All right, are we seeing this? Can somebody say yes or Not no? Yet. Not uh, yet. The oh. black, it's just a dark screen. It says you started sharing a screen. I can see it. So weird, guys. <laughs> I'm struggling here. And and while we're while we're getting our technology to to um, cooperate, uh, I do want to give a a massive shout out to Lonnie and to Marsha for the very impactful role that they played in. Um, the birthing of the idea and and we know that we all play roles in in life right and and some some of those roles are to to be the 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 seed planter um, sometimes it's to be the the person who waters the seed and sometimes it's to to be the person that cultivates uh, and and brings in the harvest and that each role at each stage as is is equally important as the next um and and lonnie and marcia both were have were in the trenches with me and michelle uh very early on in in kind of bumping into all of this along the way um and played a very massive role in planting the seed and even watering it and then um, realized that the for them at the moment in that in those in their journey that the cultivation component um, was just a different role that, that um, you know, you kind of passed the baton. And so um, a, a massive amount of gratitude to both Lonnie and, and Marsha for, for those roles that they played and continue to play in that, in that space. So thank you guys very much. Awesome. All right, are we seeing this now? Yes. Awesome. Okay. So we're calling out to all of our fellow word nerds. Um, we are looking for authors um, as well as editors. There also may be some of you that have some experience with design and layout. So once we've actually chosen all of the chapters and they've been edited and they're ready to be published, um, if any of you have um, expertise in design and layout, we will also uh, be looking for those skills as well. But the really guys like the high level point of this slide is that, I mean, look at, look at the skills and expertise needed to be an author. 
you need to have a passion for sharing your transformation and be able to tell a compelling story, which we're going to help you with. So we've got lots of guidelines and tools to help you do that. You do not have to be a best-selling author to be a part of this project. You know, that's the whole point is that um, it's just an amazing platform for those of you that have a story to tell and that writing is, is part of your vision and you want to bring that to the world. Um, the expectations for this project would be one chapter that is anywhere from three to 5,000 words-ish. Um, and again, we have a, a chapter blueprint that will really help you lay out, you know, what are, what are the primary topics and um, lessons that, you know, you've learned, um, things that you really want to share out with other people, how to create the emotion um, of taking people on a journey through a story. A lot of you guys have already seen the, um, you know, the hero's journey, you know, how to tell a story, the exercise that we did at ISTC about the parts of a story. There's so much that's that's already available to help you write. So the key is don't, you know, let anything um, just, you know, prohibit you from, from diving in um, because, you know, it's, it's really for anybody that has a passion to share. Um, and once, you know, once you have committed to the project, I will say, you know, we're going to have some deadlines in place. So, you know, be ready to, um, to hit a deadline for a first draft um, so that we can keep the timelines moving. You know, we won't be able to just kind of wait around like, oh, it's two weeks past the deadline. So you would be committing to, and we'll share what those are, you know, with you so you have an idea. But just keep that in mind when you think about your bandwidth and how much time, um, you know, you'll be able to commit to this, um, as well as a deadline for the final copy so that we can release it to Amazon and the world. And then for editors, um, you know, just some basics. I mean, you're, you know, hopefully if you've got some experience already working with a grammar app, um, like Grammarly, um, you're just naturally kind of good at that, um, you know, good at sentence structure and grammar and spelling. Um, and then also being able to make some recommendations and suggestions back to the author as far as things that might enhance their story. And um, again, editors, you'll be working on a team of um, people who have editing experience like myself. There are other people, you know, probably on the leadership team um, that are very experienced in editing. So you'll have help to do that. But if you think that that's kind of an area of expertise that you either have or that you would like to have, um, you know, be sure to, to let us know that. Um, and we're going to try to hit a three to five day turnaround on edit so that we can keep people moving um, as far as, you know, the authors who are writing. So, um, you know, keep that in mind as well as far as um, timeframes. So here's our process that we've, that we've been working on for several months. So we are today in the invitation process. Um, Michelle is going to be sending out a welcome email um, to everyone. So in case, you know, we'll probably have a link to the recording as well in case um, people have missed our Zoom today. But it's also going to have a link to a questionnaire that's really just kind of gives us an idea of what your interest level is and in which roles um, are you interested in, in participating and then what prior experience do you already have. So, you know, questions like, are you already a published author? Not that you have to be, we just want to know. Um, you know, so the more information that we have about you and, and your experience, um, the better. It just helps us get to know, you know, your background a little bit better. So we'll ask you guys to complete that questionnaire within a week. Um, so that we can get our list together of all the people that are interested in being part of the project. And, um, and then we're gonna follow up by sending an email back to everyone who's responded to um, that questionnaire with um, more guidelines and details and you can start writing. So it's, we're gonna be ready to dive in guys within about a week. Um, if, you know, if you're not already starting to write your story, um, we'll be providing those details that will help you kind of lay out your chapter to start writing. Um, and so that's where that preparation phase is gonna come in. Um, where we'll be sending you extra documents, linking you to some Google folders, um, and then also probably having some Zooms 
um, you know, as, as part of just the support process. And then we'll move into the acceptance phase where we'll be reading um, all of the submissions that we have of your chapters and, and doing some editing, providing comments and recommendations back to you. And the, the goal is to have about 10 to 12 authors per book. So book one, um, if we have more than, than um, 10 to 12 or you know, more than 12 people respond with chapters, um, the good news is we've already gotten a start on book two. <laughs> So, um, you know, we just were, we weren't sure what, what we were going to get. And um, that's kind of just what we're shooting for 10 to 12 authors per book at a three to 5,000 um, word chapter is probably going to land us somewhere in the, I don't know, 150, 175 pages. So it'll be a, a book book. Um, and then we'll take it through the publishing process that um, we'll get it on Amazon and make sure that it goes um, bestseller and potentially international bestseller. And boom, you're a bestselling author. So it's a win, win, win. Um, and that means you can't lose. So, so for you, you know, some of the benefits here, it really is here to help you, um, you know, build your own expertise as a writer, um, where you've got people that are already best-selling authors and editors that are going to be available to help you. So it's a great way to just get some good mentoring and coaching um, with your writing and establish credibility. Um, again, you know, just you're, boom, you're an Amazon best-selling author. Like that's, that's how it can happen. Um, it also can boost your exposure as far as, you know, your own businesses. So if you have your own websites, you know, like announcing this, um, you know, making posts about the book that's getting ready to release, we'll take it through an entire process of downloading, you know, an, an ebook and then make sure that you buy, you know, the, um, the soft copy book. Um, and so, you know, you can, you can use that to promote your own businesses as well. You know, check out my new book that's getting ready to be released. Um, leaving a legacy for your family. Um, just, just the ability to grow in a new way, in a new creative way that maybe you've are always thought about, you know, writing in a book or writing your own book. And, um, and here it is. And to be able to do it affordably. So um, I just talked to someone a couple of days ago who actually spent $18,000 on her first book because she outsourced um, the editing, she outsourced proofreading, she outsourced someone to create the cover, she outsourced someone to um, create the actual design and layout of her book, she outsourced a coach to help her with her writing. So, I mean, that's a, it's a little high, but three to $10,000 is pretty average um, when you think about self-publishing a book. And so for this first one, there is no cost. Um, so that's that little asterisk down there in the corner. There is no cost to you um, and so many benefits. So it's just, it's a phenomenal opportunity and we're so, we're so excited to, to not be um, having you guys incur any cost to do this. Um, the wins for growth you, obviously, you know, we're extending the brand and the reach into the world. Um, you know, by, by having it on Amazon and in multiple countries. So really, you know, like I said, being able to take stories, um, deep, true, passionate stories that are your life and being able to link those back to growth, you programs, the growth, you community, um, is just, is a phenomenal opportunity, um, for growth, you. And, you know, we hear all the time, especially from Mr. Bauer, where value leads and money follows. And so, you know, this is an opportunity for not just book sales, you know, online, but also driving people back to the programs. Um, these stories are representative of all of this stuff that you guys are, are learning and ways that you're gr growing through, um, you know, global asset programs, through the mastery program. So um, it's, it's just a great opportunity for growth you. Um, and also we're going to, as we grow, there will be so many more opportunities 
um, to write in different ways. So not just not just in the way of books, but with, you know, there's going to be articles and different types of online content, blogging, um, you know, we get to identify your amazing skills and creativity that maybe we just haven't seen um, yet. And so through this project, we're going to be like, wow, you know, like so and so is gangster at this. And um, and we need to make sure that, that we continue to to bring you in and utilize those those skills for for new opportunities. And then the future tribe is really just, you know, helping us to help other people. So, you know, the way that we share the creative um, ideas and and marketing strategies that you all have work that's what we're asking for in return so the fact that you know you don't have to pay to be a part of this project the way that we would like for you to uh, provide value back to us is you know moving forward how can we market these um these books in this anthology um, how are you doing that? You know, how are you getting creative to think about how can we monetize this opportunity um, to help us all grow? Because obviously, you know, the more as as founding growth leaders, the more revenue and profit that we're bringing in, um, the more comes back to you. So we're going to be really looking to you and probably having a survey at the end of this of you know what what creative things have you done to actually. Um, promote the book and, and help it monetize um, for all of us. So all of that, what's next? We have ants in our pants. We've had ants in our pants for weeks and we're so excited. Um, so again, just to quickly, you know, reiterate, um, Sunday, you'll get an email from Michelle. Um, it'll, it'll come from growthwriters at gmail.com. So make sure that you um, are looking for that. Um, and again, it's going to have a link in the email that you just click on it. It's going to take you straight to that questionnaire. Um, you'll have a week to, um, it, it, it's super fast, you guys. Like if you get the link, like just do it. It'll take you le less than five minutes um, to just give us some background about you and what your interest level is. And then again, we'll, we'll follow up to all of you who've responded. If you're not interested, um, just don't respond you know don't click on the survey um, or the questionnaire and uh, and then the last thing is to start to think about what story you know you want to tell like start getting that formulated in your mind and and um, really the ways that you've that you've grown um, as a result of growth you so now's the time to ask your questions and share your enthusiasm bring it and, and just to just to throw in one more piece of that, like when we're talking, you know, when we're getting in state uh, for filming, um, we, we oftentimes think so much about like, oh, what am I going to say? Or, or, you know, or when you're done filming, you know, you hear from your coaches a lot, like, I don't even know what I said. Was it good? Or we start to think about the, we start to digest it and, and analyze it and remember what we tell you all the time whatever you share is exactly what someone needs to hear, right? So, so you have a story and you've, your story is, is perfect for you and it's going to be perfect for someone else. So don't get too deep into the weeds of, oh, my story is not as impactful as, as Michelle's story or as you know, someone else's story, whatever. It's your story. It's perfect. And someone else has to hear it. Okay. So don't get too deep into the weeds on that. Yeah, and I see that Annette had uh, raised her hand, and um, so did um, Lisa. So if the, if the two of you want to start out with questions, and then we'll just open it up to the rest of the group. Annette, do you want to, did you have a question? No, I don't think so. Oh, I don't okay. remember raising my hand, but that doesn't <laughs> okay. That doesn't mean anything. I saw that little hand, the little hand raise. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> All right. Maybe that was just like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Maybe that was right. me trying to figure out how to get my screen to do something, you know. Right. Was that a hallelujah, Annette? All right, Lisa, <laughs> did you purposely raise your hand? I did, yes. Okay. Awesome. Can you guys hear me okay? Because I don't know if my connection's all that great. Yeah. Yeah. Just a minute, babe. Um, I'm 
obviously brand new here. Uh, my husband and I just joined about a week ago. Feels like longer, but um, can you guys still hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, feels like longer, but that's because we just dove right in and we're already on our second round of Transform You with a big group. Um, my jam is writing, so this like really, really excited me. Uh, I'm a very good writer, and I've always wanted to write a book, and this is just like the most amazing opportunity that just arrived. And uh, got some great transformation stories uh, from from life. My parents didn't get the memo either on personal development, so uh, I'm really excited to be here, and I uh, can't wait to fill out the questionnaire. Awesome, thank you. Who else? Meredith? I'm, I'm hoping it's not too crazy. I'm, I'm teaching at a retreat and this is the only place with service and there's like music playing and people, but um, I am, um, Lisa, welcome. And it's so nice to meet you guys. Um, I am the opposite end of the spectrum as far as um, I'm dyslexic and I can't spell anything and sentences are backwards and words are backwards. And um, I have had like in my in my gut, I guess, um, that I, I do have something to share and that's the way I want to do it. And, um, I didn't know how to take that step forward. I'm going to get so emotional because you guys and this community are seriously everything, everything I'm sharing at this retreat. They're like, where are you getting this information? I'm like, growth you. Where is this? Are you growth you? I'm like, <laughs> we've moved way beyond yoga and it's all growth you. Um, but this opportunity is just to, to feel supported and feel like you can step into it and move through all those limiting beliefs um, of not feeling like you were smart in school because words weren't your thing and to be able to, I can translate my story through dance and movement um, and I desire to, to translate it through words so I can reach more people um, in a different language, I guess. So I'm, this is just like the most incredible thing. Thank you. Awesome. Well, your chapter is going to be fun to edit. <laughs> you will have all the help you need, my dear. Who else? Any other questions? Comments? Enthusiasm? And that. Now you really have your hand up. Now this is for real. I meant it that time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually, through the through this whole presentation, thinking about just thinking about the mastery stories, the the opportunity to create the emotions that came out in every one of those stories, um, the world needs to that kind of support those stories couldn't have been any more raw and real and we're not the only ones who have experienced those things and if if each one of us affect one soul and they affect one and it just it the ripple effect will be amazing and um the opportunity to be a part of something like that is amazing absolutely amazing and um it's it's just incredible and worth it at any cost. So um, I welcome the opportunity because um, these stories need to be out there. We agree. We agree. Who else? This is Karen. Hello. So um, good morning or afternoon, whatever it is for you. Uh, so. I was on Grizz's call last night for Mastery, and Trisha shared that uh, if something doesn't scare you enough that you pee a little, <laughs> and it's not scary enough. <laughs> so I'm sitting on this call, I think, already in deception. Um, so I'm just going to claim that I'm going to give this a try because it scares the shit out of me. So <laughs> I just got to say that on the call. God, I love you. <laughs> I don't even know how to respond. <laughs> I'll get the recording up today for that call and that will have a little more context. And yes, that is, 
this is definitely one of those things that will that can move all of us into that um, uh, certain certainty of uncertainty. Um, and guys, I I can tell you the first time that I was asked to write, I my first thought was um, like I think I can do this, but I've never done it. Um, the second thought was I don't I don't think my life is really that interesting. Um, because it, it was my life, you know, it was just kind of like, oh, like, is, is anybody else going to really care about this? And after I got through it, it was the most profound experience I had ever had to actually go through and see all of the hurdles and the obstacles and the barriers and how I got through it and like how I'm different as a result of it. And it was life changing and it was the first time I had ever done it and I, I had help. And so to go from, it's like, I, I feel, you know, where you are, Karen, where you're kind of like, oh my God, like, can I, but I'm telling you, like, once you sit down and you do it and we're going to give, you know, help and suggestions and recommendations. And at the end of it, you're going to be looking at this chapter and you're going to be like, oh my God, like, and so are thousands and thousands of other people. Like it's, I just, I can't wait to read them all. I'm telling you the first what when this project first like came in front of my face, you know, four or five months ago and I was reading these stories and then I was just in tears. I was like, oh my God, like this is just incredible. So, you know, multiply it times all of you times a whole new group of people for the next book and the next one. And I mean, it's just, it's, it's just huge. So I do, you know, we made the, the presentation fun because we want the process to be fun and you know we want it to be fun for all of you, and so um, I mean everyone's starting from where they are, you know, and we get that. So we're going to help you through all of it. Who else? We have a couple more minutes. I'll just share a couple comments. Um, first of all, I want to you know acknowledge the team for bringing this call together. You guys have done an amazing job. And um, I also, I want to speak to everyone on the call, particularly those that were at the uh, mastery event. I don't, I don't think anybody realized the power of those stories before it went in. And when you guys got up and spoke, even the ones that were nervous and shaking and unsure of themselves, the passion and, and the, the impact that your stories had on everyone in the room, um, it, it transformed things. In fact, it was the genesis for you know ISTC. All of the the experience that you you had at ISTC, you were the genesis of it. And so, I would encourage you to step into this this next walk as well. And, and Karen, particularly you, I know you you're going to do well, just like everybody else. And I. I too, like you know everybody else on this call, sometimes second guess myself and think that you know what I have to say. Um, maybe some people may not understand it or appreciate it, but we have to realize that we're here for a reason. And everybody that's here on this call um, has made a significant impact on others' lives, uh, and and we're here and we're called on to continue to, to do that so that we can change. We said we wanted to change the world and that's why we're here. So I would encourage you to step through whatever it is, obstacles that you see. Um, this is a powerful team that will support you. And if you had any glimpse of what uh, the experience that we had at ISTC, at the mastery event, or even just on your um, Transform You programs, uh, you know that this is going to be a, a great project and you don't want to miss out on it. Thank you for that. And I did want to acknowledge too that, um, you know, Tanya's in Hawaii, I think, and on another call, um, Lorraine is actually on, on another call and she's going to be a big part of this project as well. And, um, you know, the obvious of the obvious, um, you know, none of us would be here if it wasn't for Rod. And um, so, you know, I just, I, it's just even the opportunity to just show the massive, you know, life transformations that have come about in all of your lives, you know, because of, 
because of, of him, <laughs> you know, because of, because of growth, you and, and everybody that, that, you know, has pulled together like this entire community. Um, it's just like, what an amazing way um, through books, especially as a fellow word nerd, like I can't think of a better way to get, to get this out to hundreds of thousands of people across the world. Um, and like you guys, it will, I mean, they, they will be like, they will be in different languages and in different countries and, um, and you're first, <laughs> you're book one. So, um, well, we hope you are. So, um, okay. Any other, any other questions, comments? And again, you got all those phases that, you know, that we popped up there. We'll be having Zooms. We're going to prepare you for each one of them. So don't be like, ah, like what's going to happen? We're doing that on purpose. We don't want this to be overwhelming. We want to take it one step at a time. So find out, you know, who's really interested, what your backgrounds are, and then we'll, we'll prepare you as you go. Okay, so know that. Chris, I'd like to uh, chime in. I, um, I'm sitting on the edge of my seat, um, reminded that the reason that um, we are so drawn to each other is because um, we all have this burning desire to help others. We, we all went through whatever it is we had to go through in order to get to this place where we have something really powerful to share. And there is nothing that's, that's more powerful than a true story. And, um, you know, uh, just to give you an example of the kind of legs that something like this has, um, the fact is, is that there are 30 million copies of the, uh, of the AA Big Book that have been sold in um, 170 countries, 67 languages, and, and most of the people that read that book uh, look towards the end of the book for the 15 personal stories because that's what really sells them on the fact that recovery is possible. And that's just one, that is just one particular topic. Like, you know, we, we bring such a diversity of, of power and experiences that we can share. Um, you know, I'm, uh, I'm just super stoked to, uh, to be, you know, alongside all of you on this journey. And um, I wanted to share that with you. Thank you so much. Chris, I just want to um, um, give a shout out to Brian, Michelle, and yourself, um, and the um, kind of upper level part of the team that brought these things together. Because when you start looking at things like the mission statement, the vision, when you start looking at the different roles of the editor and the authors, it takes uh, a lot to, to kind of pull that, all of that information together, the mental framing, a lot of the stuff that goes on, uh, the emails back and forth. It takes a lot of work. And so I just want to honor the sacrifice that you guys have made, the um, coming together as a team, the way you worked and, um, did this level roll up to bring it out. Thank you so much. And with all of my heart, pure gratitude for the tremendous, tremendous amount of work that you guys put into this. Thank you. Thank you, Lonnie. Okay. I, I would minutes. just, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I was gonna say we're two minutes till I know Michelle asked for, asked for the last, uh, the last word, which I, I granted, but go ahead, Grizz. Well, just, I, I would be remiss if I didn't give a, a quick shout out to Molly as well for playing um, a, a role in this. Uh, she planted a seed. She and I had a, a, an amazing conversation at that, um, at that mastery event. And um, with a, a, as we walked around uh, the lake and just there was um, some pretty massive moments of growth just in that conversation. And then I recall um, a phone call shortly after we got back and there was a conversation about a book uh, and she said with very clear uh, intent, you know, you're going to write a book, if not more. And this was well before the conversation with Michelle and, and Lonnie ever um, started. So, so thank you for continuing to just pour out belief. Thank you. Uh, I just want to close and say thank you to everyone here. This would not have happened had I not felt safe. I'm going to cry. 
I learned so much that I don't own ideas. I learned how to give completely and freely and ask for help. It expanded me in everything, my leadership, my trust, my understanding, and my desire to be my highest and best self. So I am so excited for everyone's chapter to be able to read it and to be able to be on this journey with you and continue forth. Whatever you're believing in, don't stop believing. This is just the beginning. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And again, to Rod and, and um, to Molly and um, Aga, there were so many calls that got me from where I just started this journey to where we are now. There's endless people. I feel like I'm giving an Oscar speech and the time has run out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining. Sunday, look out for the email on Sunday. Complete that questionnaire if you're interested. Um, and we're off to the races. There's no, I, I, I said before they call, I'm a little nervous because there's no take backs after this. <laughs> Once it's out there, it's out there. So we're moving. So thanks again. And um, you guys, if you have any questions, you know, reach out to myself, to uh, Michelle or to Grizz, but um, we will keep you adequately informed as the process moves along, we promise. So love you all. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Love ya.